Hello, dear viewers. Thank you so much for joining me for this Pick a Pile reading. I have a few different decks, several different decks in here, and I put the plants on top. So you are to pick the plant that draws you, and you know I'm just getting so interested in the spiritual significance, the magical significance of the plants as well. So pick one and see what is most important for you to know today. All right. We'll ask Source to light up your intuition. Give me the words, help me interpret the cards, and I hope that you can hear what you're supposed to hear. I love using tarot for this. Carl Jung used tarot to get in touch with the subconscious, the higher self. All right, he's a famous psychiatrist, founding father of psychiatry, psychology. All right, we have the chanterelle mushroom. Now, the spiritual significance of the chanterelle mushroom is it's considered a very spiritual flower. I mean, a very spiritual plant. It's a mushroom, but it's equivalent to the amethyst. So it's to open your third eye. It's to help you with divination. It, it increases your your sixth sense. And some people would put it under their pillow so they would have lucid dreams that would give them guidance. So you can certainly plant that thought before you sleep tonight that you wish for lucid dreams that would give you guidance and give you understanding. It's very interesting. And divination, that's the ability to see the future. Okay, so we have for the first pile, Eight of Cups from the Light Seer's Tarot. That's a beautiful card. From the Rider Weight, we have the Three of Swords. And we have the Four of Cups. Oh, wow, you really are, boy, these are hitting you at a time where you are needing spiritual answers and sustenance. Yes, and likely for it to be fruitful. Gosh, with this, with this card, likely for it to be fruitful. Okay, with the Steampunk Tarot, we have the Fool. You also get the Fool. There is a new beginning for you. New beginning beckoning, it is possible. With the Arcanum deck, we have the Emperor. Okay, and now we know the means. All right, this makes a lot of sense. Okay, so... It looks like something is really um, playing on your emotions. And it's not like a tower moment. It looks more like an ache. It looks more like your thoughts are dissatisfied. There's dissatisfaction, feeling like it's not going to get better, feeling like you're not going to feel better. Whatever this is, this could be a repeated source of heartache or stress or just thoughts that come around and, and kind of torment you negative thinking that comes around, but really very frequently when this Three of Swords is there, it's there's something that is happening that is reminding you of a repeating pattern in your life that could go all the way back to childhood. You know, these are swords that are lodged in this heart, right? So you might be keenly feeling the damage that does to your joy today, around about this time. Now the Eight of Cups, oh boy, you're seeking though today. You're seeking. One thing that people don't always realize about negative emotion is sometimes it's good to change your perspective, change your mood. But sometimes it is time to move right into it. If you're mad, write out all the reasons you're mad. You know, rip it up later. If you're, um, or go walk for a walk and pound that pavement. Um, if you're sad, comfort yourself, love yourself, wrap yourself in a, in a blanket and let yourself feel it. Let yourself cry, maybe watch a sad movie, maybe. So whatever it is, I feel like today is not, is a day to kind of lean into it, explore it, bring all your cups away and and seeking spiritually seeking through your intuition and you know that eight of cups also 
when you can do that and really be one with your emotions, a lot of times you find that you work through them and then you see the blessings in your life. Then you see, oh, but this cup is upright and that cup is upright. I like that. But you're still seeking. You're still seeking the next thing that's missing. So the fool, it, cause, and you may be doing this because you have good intuition, and the fool card is telling me that there is a new beginning beckoning to you. It's possible. The energy is all right there. It's coiled and ready to spring. It's ready to spring. You're ready for a spring where there's more emotional satisfaction. And maybe what, some of this pain is just healed and you leave it behind you. Now, how does it happen? Well, it happens through separating yourself, allowing yourself to feel your emotions, allowing yourself to, to really get in touch with your intuition. This is about being in the moment too, isn't it? It's like, okay, I am, I am soaking up the energy of the universe, the oneness, I am. You know, I'm going to get in touch with I am and, and away from worries. And then, but then there's clarity that comes in. Oh my gosh, and especially with this, the prayer for clarity, the prayer for using this powerful spiritual energy that's with you to bring you clarity about what to do. Sometimes it's best to, yes, we do consider all the things on our mind, but then sometimes it's best to get through that and get into this present moment where we're just like, I surrender to a good and loving source and I'm just going to be in this moment and trust that the answers will just come to me because they do that way. Oddly enough, the emperor though does mean to me that you might have to set some boundaries to accomplish this. You might have to say, okay, let's be practical here. Maybe I don't feel like I have time to devote to myself, but maybe it's a must. Because this is my, the strength is in my spirituality and getting centered. And I could run the rest of this day ragged. I could run, run on a half, on fumes, right? And things aren't okay emotionally. And things aren't okay in my brain. And I could run, run with it anyway and really suffer, you know, and do not, and, and fall short in what I, what I'd like to do. Or I could set a boundary and say, okay, that's enough. It is time for me to consider myself important enough to reflect on my emotions and thoughts and to get centered. So it's this is about setting boundaries. It's about cause and effect. It's about saying, hey, let's be real. I'm, you're a human being. You To get a new beginning, you have to have time to see the new beginning. And then there may be some real take charge energy that comes in. Don't worry about putting aside your cares for a while because sometimes you come back and the next day you've got this great take charge energy because you've cleared out a bunch of stuff and you've given it to source. That really does happen usually, actually. It's the whole thing. People can be more productive a lot of times if they completely detach from all of the, the problems and, and trust them to source and just take, who knows how long, but take what time it takes to do that. And then you might be able to see this new beginning. This is a beautiful reading. Oh, I like it. I like it. Yes. All right. And for pile number two, who has the Ginkgo Bilboa. The Ginkgo Balboa, Bilboa, pile number two, is the, law, the oldest tree, the oldest surviving species of tree known to exist. It's timeless. 200 million years. Hmm. So, of course, it means resilience. It means hope. It means endurance. Long life. Also, the, the leaves are, they have the two, the two lobes. So it can also stand for the feminine and masculine 
aspect of all living things, yin, yin and yang. So this is an amazing tree. Wow, I did not know that about the ginkgo bilboa. In our little neighborhood, we have three ginkgo trees as the centerpiece. Hmm. What a beautiful message. All right. So we have timelessness, we have endurance, we have... Oh, this might be about the, the oneness between you and, and all previous incarnations and in future incarnations. Interesting. Nine of Wands for the Light Seers Tarot. We have the Two of Cups for the Rider Weight. We have the Devil for the Rider Weight. We have the Seven of Swords. Ooh, sneaky Seven of Swords for the Steampunk deck. And for the Arcanum deck, we have the Justice card. So your major Arcana are the Devil and the Justice card. Wow. Well, your ginkgo tree tells you, you are strong, you are rooted, you have an amazing ability to be steady and stable throughout all kinds of things. So let's look at this set of cards. For some of you, there is somebody up to no good. Not to say that they're going to get away with anything, because look at the justice card right on the other side. I mean, that justice card is saying, even if there's something somebody's trying to take too much of, maybe they're trying to take too much for themselves. Maybe they're doing something sneaky or dishonest. Maybe they're doing something manipulative. You don't know. It can be somebody close to you, but it doesn't have to be somebody close to you. And the devil card, there may be addiction involved in this. There may be some sort of obsessive something involved in this. It, oh gosh, though, I see. For some of you, this does have to do with a fairly close relationship of some kind. Where you thought you saw eye to eye, you have made an agreement, you thought you understood each other, but then something got in the way. And it could be an obsessive kind of pattern as well. Or like I said, addiction or something that makes you feel actually trapped by this. And your, your gut kind of knows that there's, it's not, um, this is, person is not trustworthy or this organization or this, I mean, this can be anything. It can be a person. It can be a workplace. It can be somebody at a workplace. It can be a family member. This can be anybody, but obviously there's something you feel kind of trapped in with this devil card or you're thinking about it all the time because you don't quite have clarity you know when a person kind of knows something's not right your brain tends to go round and round and round about it like what you know and you might doubt your thoughts about it you might doubt your impressions about it and that can be the devil card too just the thoughts going around and around a little obsessive you might feel even a little obsessive about something but guess what you're not you know sometimes you you just need to land on what it is the trick is especially if you've had difficulties in the past and you don't know how much this is about what's going on now, how much about it is about a trigger from the past. The trick is keeping your peace in spite of it. And we certainly can. So sometimes this card might come up to let you know, don't worry, don't worry, justice will be done. Don't worry, things will come out. Don't worry. Anything negative will be thwarted. Sometimes, um, you know, doing something that really helps you to surrender all your worries and, tr and, and ask Source to take care of this and expose it and do whatever needs to be done for you to be safe. And then go on about your day because you believe you are safe. You believe that that will work. You believe that you can connect to Source, which will give you all that you need, no matter what else comes to happen in your day. I don't even feel like this is a huge danger or anything. I don't even think there's a huge risk. I just think there's some funny business, you know, but justice will be done and you don't have to do it. 
You don't have to make sure it gets done. That's what I'm seeing here. If something's been unfair to you, something will be balanced. If there's a connection between you and somebody else where you feel like something's not right, but it needs to come out in the open, it will. It will. So I hope this reading is really affirmative to you. I mean, really, you've got, you've got the angel of justice on your side here. So that is very interesting. Oh, wow. Power in that reading. And then you get the ginkgo. It's all about enduring and not even being very troubled by it, right? The, the ginkgo tree has endured for 200 million years. It looks a lot the same. Wow. Okay. Thank you so much. And for pile number three, who has? You've got the peas. The peas, the pea plant is symbolic of spring and rebirth. And even fertility for some, because, you know, the peas are like, the peas in the pot are like a baby in the womb. But fertility in all kinds of ways. You know, peas are produced in the spring. They are rebirth. They are, um, they're delicious, of course, before they're, overripe and they provide a lot of energy and protein. They're, they're a really nutritious plant. Yes. So to represent the concept of fecundity and rebirth. So that is wonderful. That's wonderful. I just always feel like abundance with peas. You know, you pick one pea pod and open it and there's six peas in there. You know, it's, it's just abundance. And the the flowers are so pretty in the morning. They're just a very joyful plant. So that is the plant you chose. Pile number three. And for your light seers tarot, you have the five of swords. And for the rider weight, you've got the ace of swords. And you've got the star card. There's your major arcana so far. In the steampunk deck, you've got the four of cups. And in the arcanum deck, we have the three of swords. So, it looks like your major arcana is the star, which is terrific. Let me put that with these. Five of swords. Three of swords. Look at all the swords. Okay. And then we have four of cups dissatisfaction, which is also about thoughts a lot of times. So... You may have had painful thoughts. You may have been having some painful thoughts. And maybe it did come out of a conflict. Or somebody who just wanted to win. And who cares if people walk away? Who cares what, what effect it has on the relationship? I, I want it all. I want to win. There could have been a situation like that in a person or a dynamic from um, or an organization. You know, there could be some sense of this. And it could be causing some painful Thoughts and feelings. You know, this can even be from a place of business. This can be from authorities of, or, or government or organization. This sort of winning at any cost kind of thing. And the three of swords is, oh, you know, there it is again. You know, this is something you've dealt with before. This is something that brings you some sadness. You know, and maybe it even reminds you of something in the past that was much worse. You know, this is just sort of a shadow of that. It's not nearly as big. It's sort of a shadow of it. But but the trouble is it triggered a lot of these kinds of thoughts and dissatisfaction and negative emotion and maybe some, you know, just real... You know, I look at that man and I see discouragement. I see dissatisfaction. I see maybe some resentment. But you know, in the rider weight, that cup that's coming over the shoulder that's being brought out of the heavens, he doesn't see. Because he's, he's closed off. Maybe there's a reason. There's Yes, I know there is. I know there's a reason. There's a reason this triggered these feelings and these thoughts. There's a reason. However... Source is coming right back around behind that with the Ace of Swords, trying to tell you the truth, trying to give you a real truth that really um, 
transcends this issue. It just blows it out of the water. It just makes this issue completely irrelevant, powerless to cause new misery or dissatisfaction. There's a new way of looking at something. And here you are looking for a reading on YouTube, which is terrific because that's a great way. A reading, maybe there's all kinds of beautiful lectures on spirituality, trainings on spirituality. That can change the way you think about something in an instant. And it's lost all power to bring misery to you. And instead, I'm clearly seeing Source say, hey, no, 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 no. You know what's appropriate? Inspiration. You know what's appropriate? Hope. Hope. Even if you have to pour out some of the emotion that's been stirred up. You know what's appropriate? Nice emotion coming in. Comfort coming in. Soothing coming in. Encouragement coming in. All this makes sense. Look at the peas. Rebirth. There might be something with this Five of Swords that was actually put an end to. That can also be that. It might not even be something somebody else did. Sometimes it's you putting an end to something. You're like, uh-uh, I'm, I'm packing up my Legos. I'm going home. Because it is just smart to do so. There's, there's not, you know, nothing else has worked. It's time. You know, it's time to take an action. Sometimes that's what that is. That's a victory of I'm cutting something away. Of course, you can also be cutting away thoughts, but sometimes a victory of I'm cutting something away. And there may be great need for hope. And now we're turning a corner and we're inspired. And it's not to say that you have all the answers about what's going to unfold. No, you've got comfort from source. You've got some inspiration from source, but you know, you don't have the king or queen of swords. You don't have a full plan here. You're not getting all the details. But what you are getting is a transformation of your thoughts on something and your emotions on something. And the pea plant is all about new birth, new prosperity, new abundance. So this is a remarkable reading. And if you're tempted, if you feel like your guides or source or, or some, some angel is saying to you, over here, remember, remember you had some positive thoughts about what's going to happen next in your life. Let's come back to the truth of that. There might be that going on. All right. Well, I thank you all so much. It's a wonderful reading. You know what? I feel like I should do a golden nugget card, though, because sometimes people like a little further clarification in their reading. Sometimes they have a lingering question. And so let's see what we have out of the Arcanum deck. We'll do golden ring. Okay. We have the victory card. Oh, victory is, is the victory that you need. The right victory is indeed coming. It is indeed yours. Ah, that's lovely. Yeah, that's just a promise, isn't it? Enjoy it like this man does. He stands straight. He holds his head up high. He said, yes, I do deserve this victory. And so, so you should be. Also holding your head high and knowing you're victorious. Whether it's apparent yet or not, you're victorious. All right. Well, I thank you all so very, very much. You have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye.